you know what time it is. It's time for another Chris Chan episode. This is Chris Chan 15. Chris Chan, a comprehensive history, part 15 by Gino Samuels. This is my favorite, dude. This is like my, this has become my favorite segment to do. Okay, if you miss 14, it's on the Papa Got Leftover channel. Uh, but if you're watching this on YouTube, that sounds like I said something stupid. Anyway, awkward silence. What made him this way? I don't know, dude. You ask me every time. You've asked what me 15 times now. Is the attraction. What keeps us fascinated? It's like hard This cock. is the story of Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Oh, we got to play it a little bit increased speed, of course. Let's try uh, this one. I want to the race first. No, not that motherfucker. Go back. All right, let's do it. Cantus Law. date, April 3rd, 2009. On August 3rd, 2009, Christian announced on video that the extensive documentation of his life proves that he is the true Christian Weston Chandler. I see the truth behind the reason why the trolls troll. Oh, right. There's like this guy, Liquid Christopher or whatever. I'm just going to lose this. I don't care. Uh, this <laughs> this guy, Liquid Chris, right? That's actually a good point, though. The fact that his life's been so documented, I think, is proof that he's the real Christian. Then again... Who's to say he's actually the one that got documented, right? Because the other guy, they look identical. If the other guy is more handsome, skinnier, better looking. So. Me. Why they have been, why they're still doing it, and all the like. Okay, let's hear it. Not just because they're bored. Not just because they <laughs> want bored. information. Not just because they want to get to know me. Not, because, not just because they've been emotionally hurt themselves. So many details that could be supposed for all the reasons to be listed. Okay. But... The trolls are there to document the truth. It is good to have my own trolls. Yeah. They may try and sometimes succeed in getting true, hard, honest information from one, and okay. they may later twist the truth for their evil purposes, just like the proper Razi. Proper ra And yet, they <laughs> document the truth. And that text, audio, photographic. Wow, he really wrote this out, man. That's that's something. Like he actually sat down and he's giving us a legitimate presentation on why he's the real Christopher Weston Chandler. Video etc type of information is what separates the imposters from the real very true, suspicious honest. thank you so much for sussy just Baca. as i am posing in my shirt in my coat in my coat i have worn on my 25th birthday future message video i wear it now because i thank you trolls okay. i thank you for documenting the truth okay. i thank you for uh, keeping it real and separating me nice. from the false people yeah so therefore <laughs> For all that you okay. trolls have done, you in turn have done for me an excellent service. As with the Wolf, Cow um, Wolf Cub Scout salute, I salute you. What? The Cub Scout salute? Service. As with the Wolf, Cow Wolf Cub Scout salute. What does that mean? The Wolf Cub Scout salute? I salute Yeah, I guess that is. But you put your thumb down. It's like this. It's just like two fingers. I mean, that's the Cub Scout. And then the Boy Scout salute, I think, is three. Because I am an Eagle Scout. So obviously I'm cringe and know that. Have a good day. Stay safe. I did go through Cub Scouts too. Also, before I forget, the uh, current Saint Star contest between me and the imposter in the brown stripes. I know your name, Mr. Toys R Us Giraffe. His name, only guy in half. Use the first name. What? Anyway, what? the contest shall continue. His name is point. Jeffrey the Giraffe? Isn't that his name? Like Jeffrey the Giraffe? <laughs> what is he talking about? Is that his actual name? What the fuck? And I hope he will. What was my Eagle Scout project? Um. So for like my local high school, I re like I refurbished their wellness trail for the high school that I went to, um, and I like I did some cool stuff for it. So yeah. But the song I have in my mind that God like I, has. I, I I cut out a bunch of like things that look like my my like my feet, not my feet, but like it was like a foot print, like just a wooden footprint, like the bottom of like a shoe looking kind of thing. And then I hung them up around the trail so like the kids could um, like you know draw them and stuff. It's cute. They trusted me to relay there, yeah. for him to sing that he enjoys it and sees the meaning. The Lord loves us. Our own name, our own Your true feet. Fantastic. The following day, Casey had another chat over the phone with Chris, who was playing the part of Liquid Chris once again. Okay, I got oh. your email, and um, I emailed. Wait, what? He was playing the part of Liquid Chris. He pretending to be the troll. What? Emily. So yeah, I'm waiting to hear back from her. That's loud. Kim. Uh, Emily, uh, you meant yeah, you meant to say Kim, right? I meant to say Kim. I know you told me about Emily. Sorry. 
Whatever. Mm. Anyway, yeah, so uh, what else is going on? No, I was just calling, you know, because I'm supposed to be coming down tomorrow. Um, I hope my car makes it. Yeah, I hear you. Well, so looking forward to your visit. My, my uh, parents are looking forward to meeting you. Oh, awesome, awesome. Oh, Casey then expresses her hatred for Christian. I know he really pisses you off. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much do you hate him? Because, I mean, if I hate him about all these things, you have got to have tons of things to hate about him. Hmm. I'm pretty much out of hate. I've got tired of hating... You know, so I just figured I'd just flow with it. Ugh. So, I mean, I guess you're giving him a chance because of all this. But, I mean, you just told me the other day that he has a homosexual lisp and he probably takes it up the butt for black guys. <sighs> that's just, I, I can tell you right now, that's just a whole bunch of lies that somebody put on the uh, ED page against me. What? Okay. There's no ED page against you. That's the imposter. What are you talking about? I mean, come on, this guy. He tried to disqualify you over something stupid. He didn't even look at your video. I mean, but he can put stupid things like parappa rap in his thing and not be disqualified. Fuck that shit. Oh, sorry for me cursing. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, come on, Chris. Don't, yeah, but, don't yeah, you but have but any like, opinion? You know, I kind of grew up emotionally a bit more the past few days. Um, but seriously, <laughs> I mean, it's happening? really pissing me off, Chris. I mean, come on, support me. He, he subscribed to me. I think he's trying to go through me for you. I mean, uh, could you believe I, that? Who is he to fucking try to get in between us? I mean, I love you. You are the fucking creator of Sonichu. You are the fucking man. You are awesome. I mean, look, look at all his hmm. toys. I mean, how old is he? I'd say he looks about 27 himself. <laughs> he looks way older than 27, but you know, that could just be the PSI toy. Crappy shit. Well, I, do, I will admit the camera does add about a few pounds. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> and then this whole singing oh, challenge, like, he had a so fucking choice. I mean, I want you to do this with me. you got to do it for me. I need to feel supported by you. And, I mean, you were doing it last night, so what's the difference now? You've got to win. This guy is coming after you for no reason just because he wants your e-fame or whatever he thinks. Fucking pig, he doesn't even look like he takes a shower. Wow, incredible. Hmm. August 4th was an eventful hmm. day for Christian. First off, he emailed Vivian G about his recent revelation concerning his trolls. Okay, I have to turn back up. Sorry, I had to turn that down. It was so loud. Wait, so I'm confused. Like, was that... I don't know. Was he just insulting Liquid Richard? Liquid Richard. Liquid Chris? Because the same the insults applied to him? Like, oh, he... <laughs> like, is that what he was? she was doing? I, I was so confused. Because she said that he was playing the part of Liquid Chris. But, like, was he? Like, what the fuck was happening there? I feel like I missed all that. The context of that, like, just flew over my fucking head. I'm thanking all trolls for their documentation of whatever truths I've shared with them in the past. Granted, they've twisted the words around and made it look bad, stupid, and worse. But the original words and drawings that I have stated and created from my hand have been documented, especially in the Encyclopedia Germanica page. And those documented words and images from years of information separate me from any imposter, especially the brown-striped Jeff. I've had my revelation for the purpose of- Oh, so Chris thinks she believes he's Liquid Chris. He's pretending to be Liquid. She is in- Insulting the real one, knowing she is talking to him. Oh. <laughs> I s okay, I understand now. So Chris is pretending to be the fake Chris. And then trying to be like, oh, I think he might be a nice guy. Like, trying to play like a fucking three-dimensional troll. Okay, wow, incredible. Um, he was pretending to be Liquid Chris to look at his girlfriend. Okay. And internet bullies from GOG the other day. And with a full confident heart, okay. well confirmed thoughts and ponders, and energetic gusto, I thanked you all. God has put you all on this earth, and appointed you all each to pick on my nerves to challenge my reactions. Now that I fully understand all that beyond, I'm just doing it for the fun of it. I'm just bored, I just like trolling and such. I can finally move on with you all in my background, and wow. continue with my drawing Very and coloring mature. of my stories and books, and stand up for my full Very power on the city mature. of Quickville and beyond, and especially in becoming an emotionally stronger man among all that. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you all. Okay. She simply replied with, You still haven't learned anything, have you? He then made a lengthy video addressing Liquid Chris. I know the truth. Your real name is Jeff. <laughs> You've been talking to this guy named Dan Topotis at Yahoo.com. Dan Topotis? About since money or whatever. And thinking about, oh yeah, we're gonna troll me some more, the real me. And also, I've been talking to Casey. She still cares about you, man. But I will bless you and her with eternal happiness of being together. Okay. All I would ask you to do is just come come clean. Come. No yeah. false documents. Your real name. You're not the original creator, aren't you? I am. So give it up already. 
I'm going to go ahead and give you a sample of what I would like you to play Very for song number five. This was a Make song a number five. that was that I was turned on to by my Australian gal pal, Panda play. Halo. Did the best Chris Chan song she heart ever among other fan arts. Got to cover number 10 for the real books. The real books available on the real Wikipedia, the official Sanchi and Rose Chusai of 2009 okay. and beyond. Anyway, I want you to think about this song that I'm about to tell you about. It's called Lift Up Your Eyes from the Plant Shakers. And you have to pay a dollar for this song because it's not available for free download. And it's a wonderful song. <laughs> Is that really your name, Christian Weston Chandler? What was your real name, Jeff something? Because God will not love you very much. Maybe his name is uh, Jeff Probst from Survivor. I don't know why I said that. But you never know, you know? Or have, have less respect for you if you steal other people's names and take credit for their own work. I actually have police people investigating you and detectives. Do you think that's true? Do you think he actually has? So there's three options in my head. Either Chris actually does legitimately have police people investigating this guy, right? That's option number one. And it is possible. Well, okay, it's not possible. Option number one, he's lying. He never even went out and reached out to somebody to contact him. Option number two, he legitimately went down to the fucking police station. And he's like, this guy's trying <laughs> he's an imposter. <laughs> option number three, somebody on the internet told him that they could do, like, they could like track him down or something like fucking stupid like that. Those are three options. Yeah, Sheriff and his group. I fired a for him. He met him at the fruit stand. And he was being a little he was a big, really. I forget his name though. But I shook his hand. I shook his hand, and he accepted a job to go against you. I can lift up the charges easily. But all I ask is that you just give it up. Wait, Liquid calls Chris Ian Brandon Anderson because Chris's handle at the time was I. Brackers? What? Why am I investing in this guy? Shut the f don't fucking don't fucking at me. Why do you have to be such why you gotta be such a Debbie Downer, dude? What the fuck? Why am I so invested in this guy? You're rude. Get out of here. Why aren't why aren't you? Like up. Uh, why aren't you? God loves you by your real name. By the way, it's not a girl it's not a guy. It's a beautiful trans woman. Get your shit together, okay? So, you fucking transphobe. So put a silly the one that you stole, please. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna say I wish you luck in your love that you have found successfully. I'll find mine one day. I know it. Nobody's gonna keep me down. It feels like it's been forever, but I stumble out of darkness into the light. Finding more things I'm all right. Even though I make mistakes, I see the wrong choice of words. This is uh, incredible. Why is this still going? I'm bad enough to admit it. I notice you have like 50 episodes of this beautiful trans woman on your channel. Why though? I have uh, 15. This will be the 15th episode of this other person on my channel, okay? It's not 50. I will get to 50 eventually. That will be a very real thing. But it is not currently at 50, okay? You're, you're, don't, 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 don't lie on my name, dude, okay? Perfect. He followed up with a video demonstrating how he draws Sonichu. Wow, great. For the drawing surface, Christian uses a reflective sketch produced by Spin Master, a device made for children to practice tracing sketches. The video also showcases the unusual way in which Chris holds a drawing utensil. Put my little C in a circle. Am I John Hancock? I mean, I mean, it probably works well. You know, who cares if it's for, my five for kids, you know what I mean? And let's give him a little drop shadow underneath. He proceeds to color in his character with Crayola super washable markers. Anyway, why do you know? Why do you, why do you know that? Why do you know so much? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Close this up here. And what do I think of my thoughts on the Norwegian di um, director of health saying that kids should go outside more? Oh, it's probably the right thing. Yeah. Put in the hand drawn pages of book number zero. No history of the hand drawn. Print these out. I'm not you get win blank this sight. You get blank edges. Unedited, as they originally were before. I scanned them and typed the text into them. Oh, that's a good page. Very good page. Anyway, I want to again give a shout out to Casey. I care about you very much. Okay. Your feelings mean a lot to me. You mean a lot. 
I'm sorry, Casey, but I'm afraid that, uh, well, I tried to uh, ease you into the subject, but unfortunately, I just could not do that. I just had to give it to you straight. I'm sorry, Casey, but, you know, you fell in love with Science You and Rose You in the world of Quickville. It's mine. Originally, oh. mine. I'm the guy. March 17th, 2000, in front of Miss Nelly Charlie Fool's classroom at this. Manchester High. Freshly drawn. You saw it from my own hand. Okay. I'm sorry, Casey. I didn't mean, if I hurt you, if I hurt you, I'm sorry. You had to know. You have been dating and having relationships with the imposter. His name is Jeff. Wow. I'm sorry. I care about you, as I cared about all my other gal pals in my life. From Megan Schroeder, Tiffany, Miranda, Sarah, Kelly. Miranda, huh? Even all the ones I made on the internet. My starting gal pal, Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, penned a halo, died in that brush fire. And Sarah Jackson died in the automobile though. accident. Wow. And Ivy O'Neill recently. I had to go listen to my father's me head theories. I'll leave it up to you. I don't know how to beat this. I can't. I really Force don't. fourth entry in the SingStar Challenge. He performs The Touch by Stan Bush, taken from the 1986 Transformers movie. You got the touch! You got the power! I love it. It's in honestly beautiful. Liquid Chris sings Think Twice by rock band Eve Six. I can't let go. I can't get out. I said enough, enough by now. The, uh, the final song for you to sing will be entitled Smell Yo Dick by, uh, by Risque. And you have to sing the whole thing. You, have, you can't change words okay. because that's cheating and that's ad-libbing. You have to sing the real thing. Okay. Mm. I agree. That's, yeah, so uh, sing it like a man if you want to. If you want to win the competition, peace. Later that same day, okay. Casey publicly released a video Chris had privately sent to her, made under the guise that he was Liquid Chris. He conceals his appearance by supposedly applying a high contrast filter on his PSI. Hey, Casey, it's me. I'm sorry that my uh, computer seems to be hunting up. I love you, Casey. You're a good girl. And the more I talk to you, the more I get, the more I. Appreciate you very much. Tornado Wizards is not going to buy me any time. What are you talking about? It's not going to knock back the boss. It can't knock bosses back. I'm trying to figure out what does a high damage to the thing. And there are so many things yet you have to learn. You have to learn about me. But uh -huh. it will be learned in the near future when you come. By the way, my oh, parents will yeah, be here when you come by later. So they'll be very happy to uh, meet <laughs> you. Know. You know, at least my father will. He's a nicer parent nowadays, even though back in the old days he used to be such a stick in the mud. But seriously, yeah, he's a good guy. My mom's a good woman, too. Be a, be a redneck sometime, but, you know, you earn her trust. She'll be good to you. But I'll welcome you. No, it gets knocked back every time you do enough damage to it. That's what it is. Let me leave with open arms. I'll see you later. Mm. I can't fight Thank this you, Chris, feeling for the anymore. Beautiful. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. Oh, There's something this. drifting up to the shore. I'll I see you later. This. In response, Casey calls Chris, berating him for pretending to be liquid during their phone calls. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Why what? is her voice so fucking shrill? What is wrong with you? I mean, you could have just told me something. You didn't even have to make him look so bad. Just, wh what the hell? <sighs> Casey, I'm sorry. I was trying to spare your feelings. No, no you weren't. Why didn't you just tell me from the start? You wanted me to come to your house. And just, what were you going to do, rape me? Oh or, my what God. were you going no, to no. do? No, I was only going to show you the true face of the real man. Why the fuck would I love you? You tricked me too. Just. Oh <laughs> I know. God. I understand. I'm sorry. No, no, you're I, not. Because you would have told me this shit. And and uh, I mean, you had so so many chances. You're just you were playing with me. You were playing with my heart. I mean, what? So you could get laid out of it? So you could be no, not no, a virgin no. anymore? <laughs> no, I was trying to be your friend. How, how is that being my friend? Tricking me. I mean, in Chris's defense, he probably learned this from the show. What is the movie? Like, Freak, freak Not Freaks and Geeks. What's the movie? Geek Squad. You know that geek movie? Ner Revenge of the Nerds. That's what I was trying to say. Um, where, like, you remember that scene where the guy dressed up like the fucking Alpha Chad guy and he, like, fucking has sex with his girlfriend, and she's like, wow, you were incredible. How? How?" And then it's like, oh, surprise, I'm a different person. And she's like, oh my god, you didn't, she doesn't say that you raped me, even though that's what he did. So. You were pretending to be the same person you're trying to save me from. I mean, Whoa. why would I want to be your friend, much less your girlfriend? That's I a mean, good what point, redeeming Chris. qualities do you have that you have shown me now? 
I can't say off the top of my head, but I would do my best. No, to make of course up for you can't. Of done. course you can't. You know what? You're just disappointed because now I'm definitely not coming. You, I mean, just you had ulterior motives. Or you would have told me something first. Come. The first thing you said, the first thing was, "Hey, come see me." What? What the yep. hell? I mean, do you not get that even, let's say he is doing all these evil things to you, do you not get that trying to steal a girlfriend is wrong? Did you not get that maybe, maybe I love him? And I mean, you were trying to say you weren't going to rape me, but you were like, we can go into my room and go straight to lovemaking. I mean, when were you going to tell me when I came in the door? You think I wasn't going to freak out or something? You think I wasn't oh going to notice God. that it, you're not him? And that would be <sighs> embarrassing for your parents. What, did you not even think of them? I thought of a lot of things, but I can't think of everything at once. I have a mental problem. Even I'm actually slow in the mind sometimes. No, oh that is God. not a good excuse. That is never a good excuse. You do not blame shit like that. That's you- interesting. He fucking talks shit about other people with like disabilities, and then like this, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm so, like he." This is like his excuse now for being. Sh- I mean, what like <laughs> he he wasn't really being shitty. Well, he thought he was being shitty. You know what I mean? Like he thought that he tricked this person, which he didn't, but he still thinks he did. So he thinks he was being shitty. Yeah. You knew what you were doing, and I know you were doing what you're doing. You were being a selfish little prick. Uh. I'm sorry I gave off that impression. Hey, you it's, hey, it's not little. What did you do? I just wanted to show you the face of truth. But you know what? You're showing me who Christian Weston Chandler is. And he's just a fat fuck who doesn't oh care about God. me, who doesn't care about anyone's feelings. You're just <sighs> a big I've had a, lot, I've had a lot of emotional traumas in my lifetime in the past with women. I mean, I've even lost some over the yeah, internet. Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why you have. I mean, that's true. He has had a lot of emotional traumas with women. And, like, that's, like, an actual real statement that he's making. Like, it's not even a lie. So, what the fuck, dude? That's, like, a real thing. And then she's blaming him for it. She's part of the troll group. That's really fucked up because, like, it's really not his fault. He's just, like, he just has autism. And he's, like, very accepting. And, like, he thinks that all girls are always right. That's just a pattern I've noticed. Huh. I mean, if you treat the. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to pause it. Uh, I hit the wrong button, but now I have to place this because I'm fucking. Boom. Like this, three they seconds. They died. Yeah, probably because they wanted to get away from you. Like Sarah Jackson died in an automobile accident. I'm serious. Her sister told me that. Oh my god, he actually thinks that they died. He also thinks like, doesn't he think that like the girl from, fucking, Arizona or something or Australia died in like the wildfires when she didn't? Doesn't he think that? Sarah Cassandra McKenzie what? slash Panda Halo like, died like, in brush fire. Yeah, died. I, I, <laughs> I don't think anybody. This, this is fucked up, but I don't even think anybody told him that this person died in a brush fire. I think he just assumes that they did. Like he just decided that randomly because he saw on the news that something like that happened. Like that's the <laughs> that's so fucking ridiculous. Oh my but god! I don't care. I don't care if he's not the son of Shakira. I don't care. I love him, and he's been there for me. And you okay. will never ever be him. He can at least play guitar. He can sing to me. He's been the one with me. You have it. The f- only time I've had with you is you trying to trick me and get me in bed. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? I understand and I respect your decision. You are welcome to stay with him, but still, you have to know oh, that. I'm welcome uh, to stay with him. I get your permission. I get your permission to stay with my own boyfriend. Where, where are no, you no, coming? I, I, yeah, you're right. I sometimes have a bad choice. Sometimes I don't know when to use my own words. I mean, as far as the oh real life God, autism is, so this is why no girl of. Don't you blame that? Don't you blame that? Are you serious? Oh do you not know how many autistic children I've worked with? And you know what? They don't do that. Probably they don't none. fucking do that. And you know, I don't even think you have autism. I think you done what? What the fuck are you talking about? You have something else. I think you have something. This is so that sad, just makes you dude. So narcissistic. It's just so you're so full of yourself. I mean, that's not autism. What the hell is wrong with you? Actually, yeah, that is a piece no, of autism. No, no, it's not. I can guarantee you. I know more about this shit than you. You know, prove it. Prove it. Go Jesus ahead. Christ. <laughs> She's I- trying to gaslight. This is just so sad because, like, I think one of the disconnects is like, oh, some of this is kind of funny to his people but like think about it. like chris actually believes everything that she's saying he's like yeah okay okay you know what i mean that's the that's the the perspective so it's like she's real time gaslighting the fuck out of this dude and she's fucked up you know i don't believe you you ever 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 want a chance with me you need to prove that because you are not textbook case yeah well I got all the papers here at the home. My father has them in the filing cabinet. I want to see them. Send them to me like you send those pictures. Show them in a video. Right now. Maybe I'll forgive oh you. My, my father is asleep. And the filing cabinet is locked. It's like he has to go through every single file in the filing cabinet just to find the one document for You better find a way. You better find a fucking way. Because you're fucking smart, right? I mean, I guess you fooled me. So. Yeah, I'm not always so smart. And you well, know what? The best part is you're not going to learn anything from this, are you? I, it's not just is this the way you want people to remember you? No, it's not. I'm trying, you do I'm trying to improve myself. I learned. Well, you know, you can start with showing me those documents. That's how you can start. Okay, I'll get the documents and I'll show them to you. You better. 
I will. Again, I'm sorry that I put you through all that. Just take some deep breaths. Stay safe. Try to keep a happy thought. <laughs> happy Stay thought? You're not fuck you. You're talking to me about happy thoughts. I mean, you don't even sound like... God, I, I just can't do it. Just do it tomorrow. Just... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Take care. Oh my god, so far. The following up. day, Christian uploaded his fifth and final entry in the SingStar Challenge, preceded by a special message for Liquid Chris and Casey. I got turned back up. error, and I humbly apologize from the bottom of my heart. I did you wrong, I did Casey wrong, but still, she had to know. That was why I came in the first place. But she still cares about you, man. Even after lying to her like that for a long of time. Uh, let's just hope we can put this behind us, and please, dude, please, stop pretending to be me. Oh, it's just the video it. we watched before? It's not fun. You gotta get yourself in jail, man. Identity theft is a serious crime. Did we already watch this? I just hate to break up that relationship between you and her. Especially since it's so honest. It's so true. Did I... Did I skip to something? Is I missing something? What the fuck? I thought we were... I love you, man. So please do. Come clean. Yes, your name is Chris Chandler. That's it. No Chin, no Christopher, no Ricardo, no Weston. That's you, man. So please, man, take off that paper medallion. Stop selling the fake merchandise. Come clean, please. Come clean and I'll be right. Between you, between me, between Gacy, and the I whole like world. Gacy, got him. As per Liquid Chris's request, he sang Smell Yo Dick by Risque. However, because of his aversion to using the loot term, he replaces every instance of dick in the song with duck, thusly breaking his wow. own rule of not being able to alter lyrics. Something's going on, can I smell your duck? Liquid oh, Chris rightfully now. addressed the issue in a short- oh, I didn't think that was gonna happen, like right in the fucking moment, whatever. Video. Well, I told you not to, and you did. And now uh, you, you had lived, you changed the song, and you are disqualified. Got him. No, wait, I take that back. I will rescind your disqualification if within the next four hours, you record the true and original version of the song, No Changes. In response, Christian re-recorded the song with the original lyrics. As chosen by Christian. That feels like ad-libbing, because he doesn't actually know the name of the sounds, uh, or the name of the words. <laughs> The fucking lyrics to the song. Okay, there you go. Liquid Chris's final entry was Lift Up Your Eyes by the Planet Shakers, which was performed in a manner not uncharacteristic of Christian's own style of singing. Him and worship, crying holy, holy, holy. In the middle of the song, he makes a spontaneous comment directed at Chris. Trying to steal my girlfriend? I see. In addition, the version that Liquid Chris recorded was significantly shorter than the full cut of the original song. This discrepancy in length was addressed by Chris the following day. Chandler, firstly, your video is only half the length of that track. The full length of that track is almost 10 minutes. Redo the video for the full 9 minutes something length. And True. commentary, you can put them in a separate video. Separate. The commentary for thing. what? Where he talked about his girlfriend? <laughs> what the fuck? Chris, your real, your real name, as I have been told by Casey, is only Chris Chandler. No Chen, no Tafer, just Chris. So So he thinks that this person's name is actually Chris Chandler. But not Christopher. Like Chris is an, an abbreviation. It's the full Okay. Incredible. Admit that. And from another thing, my name is not Ian Brandon something. I am Christian Weston Chandler. So get it through your damn fucking skull! I think it's actually Christopher. Jesus Christ, though. Call me the real name that I've got that's been given to me and the Bear at Regency Square Shopping Center during 1989. <laughs> oh you God. damn mocking bastard! Get it right! Wow. I'm Christian Weston Chandler. You are only Chris Chandler. Your medal is made out of paper. The whole length of time, the real medal has been made out of Crayola fucking model magic and acrylic paint. If I wanted paper, I would Very go to Walmart specific. and pay five dollars for five hundred sheets. Everybody. Why would you need five hundred sheets of paper to make a medallion? What the fuck? Yeah, he might be a little hangry. Pop off queen for sure, for sure. It knows that I am the real deal. You are the imposter. So give up the damn game already Very before I really sussy. call the police. Before the I actually. 
before I tell the police all the information I have gotten since I finally got them involved and then send them on your case, put you in jail. Oh, <laughs> I think he slipped up. I think he slipped up, but he, I think he exposed himself. So he like kind of like stopped talking for a second. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? He told everybody, or he told this person that he called the police on them and they're investigating. So then he just said, I will call the police on you. And then he felt like he had to make sure he uh, established that he's already called them, but he'll follow up with the police. Okay. If, even though I would prefer not to see you in jail because Casey respects you so much, Ben. She cares about you so much. She has told me so herself over the telephone. What a nice guy. I would guy. hate to see you in jail. I respect and the care because she would be heartbroken. You are Very a lucky true. son of a gun, Chris true. Chandler. True. So quit this true. stupid impersonation game. This game is not fun. If you are not careful, you really are going to go to jail. You will be trying court, and you will be going to jail or serve okay. community service. Forcedly. I was nice about it. I told you the details. And what do you do? You kick me in the balls again. Oh, my God. And that sounds I horrible. I do not appreciate that. He is a really good wingman. Yeah, that's true. I just don't understand where this reference for fucking girls comes from with this guy. I guess because he isn't really able to get any girls. Hey, thanks so much for the sub, brother. Zero Tampton, just subscribe. Thanks, brother. Stop it. Stop it. Come clean. Come. Rip off your paper. Medallion. Rip it up like a shred of paper. Look at my meadow. I cannot even twist it because it is made from mono magic. Not some cheap paper I could get at Walmart for five hundred dollars for five dollars for five hundred sheets. Five hundred dollars for five sheets, holy shit. Incredible. He's fucking rich. Something so Hello Ian. I'll sing your whole song, but uh it's just the same thing over over and over again, you know. I mean what's I don't really see the point. Unless you got some sort of secret plan to troll me again. Oh you know, you troll me so much. Oh but my god. And sang the complete version of the song. He nevertheless altered the lyrics. Ole! 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 Hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty long song. Hmm, I agree. The following day, Christian uploaded the first nine pages of Sonichu episode 20 onto the Wikipedia. Wow. Why only the first nine pages? Uploaded new pages onto his website until the completion of the comic. Okay, that's cool. It was around this time that Liquid Chris spoke with Christian over the phone. Hello, Ian. Yeah, I think you know who this is. Uh, look, Christian. Stop this. This is going to be so hard to distinguish who's who. <laughs> Look, you are giving me a lot of stress right now, and I am not going to handle it. Oh, my God. Chris, Chris listen, I was kind enough to accept that you said that you are actually a Christian W. Chandler. But you yes, my name, my name is Christian Weston Chandler. I find your name is Christian Weston Chandler, but the fact yes. is you were born with that name. You are not the Christian Weston Chandler that was born as Christopher Weston Chandler, who is the original creator of Sancho and Roche. No. Look, I don't know what the heck is wrong in your head, but no, you know, I don't, and I know I, your parents know, Casey knows, the whole world knows that you are not but, the Christopher but Christian the world, or Weston Chandler. Not, don't do this. You're breaking my balls here. Stop <laughs> doing this. Stop it. You are really kicking me off right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just keep making up all these things. I'm not. I'm not. your head because your name is not. No, they're not both crazy. So the person, the one of the people talking, I know that you. This is the first episode you've watched. One of the people talking, his name is Lick. Was is pretending to be Liquid Christopher, right? instead of uh, where where Chris, the actual Chris is Solid Chris, and it's supposed to be reference to Metal Gear Solid, right? And basically what's happening is uh, he's taking his identity. He's pretending that he's really him. So that's what's going on here. Tim Weston Chandler, it is Ian Brandon oh, Anderson that you are grinding no, my gear. There is Ian no Anderson. such thing as Ian Brandon Anderson. I, I am Christopher it out. Weston Chandler. No, because I found it out. Your Ian Brandon Anderson name, the reason you, you added uh, Chandler to that is because you were paying tribute to the serial killer Oba Chandler. Um, keep that up. He's got to hang up. I gotta lose track of communication right there. I'm not gonna let this go. He's looking around at me in real life. He's, he's continuing to call me this Ian Brandon Harrison that somebody made up. <laughs> Look, Chris, stop it. Stop this game. You know that you have not. Game. I've been being true and honest this entire time, and you have been playing a dirty game. I am not playing a game. I am the true honest one here. No. I am the original true player of Sanchu and Roshu in the world of Quakeville. No, just trying, no, just trying, that, you're, that you're, you have never been to Manchester High School. You have that's never been that, to Seymour Bay Community College. You're taking the same class as Casey is over at Community College in Washington, D.C. Uh, no, I am not. I don't even live in the Washington, D.C. 
You are in DC. I know it. Not? She knows no. it. We all know it. Now stop yeah, this. Like if you don't, yeah, if you, if you don't, if you don't come, if you, if you do not come clean right now, I am going to get my father in on this murder, and you are going to get fucking arrested, thrown in jail, and you will not get to live the peaceful, happy life with Casey. I would like you to live because Casey really cares for you, man. That's not true. I am honored. Wait, hold on. What does he say? He says you will not live the peaceful, happy life that Casey and I would like. Oh, you to live. I thought he was saying that he wanted to live that with Casey. Okay. I you to live because Casey really cares for you, man. That's not true. I am on a roll. I was on a roll. And you, you have just been... Mm. And you know what? You, why would you, why did you even, you know, you keep making all these threats with the police again. I am not making up any threats. Everything I tell you is true, honest, and legit. You no, are the one... You are not here. being true, and you are not being honest. Okay. This is it. I gave you the last warning. I gave you the last response. You just busted my balls again. You're going to jail. I'm sorry, Casey. Yeah. On August 9th, Chris uploaded another warning for Liquid Chris. Oh. Look, Mr. Christian, Mr. Chandler, I have already informed my father to go ahead with the uh, police trials and to get the police that we have already involved in the case, getting them further involved. It looks like he's looking like up. Like, do they, do they have a script hanging, like, fucking ten feet above them? You pretty much just cashing your... That was an impersonator with a good voice. That was who he was talking to. When you made the phone call last night... This is the seven plus to me, yeah, I think so. Would not even listen. You would call me the liar. You would continue to call me by that stupid Ian name. When everybody on the World Wide Web and around the whole world knows that I'm the real deal. You are ruining your relationship That's with true. Casey. She's all heartbroken about over over this whole feuding between us. She's very sad. She's very depressed. You have not called her for days. What are you doing, man? She cares about you very much and honestly from her heart. I believe him too. He's the real deal for sure. She asked for sure. You, it's you to stop playing this game. What? Why did you start? You bored? Were you just an outcast? What? We already have so many people involved. And at this point, I'm just going to do it. Bring you in. You're going to get arrested. Okay. We're going to see you in court. Hopefully you only have to serve community service. <laughs> because I really would hate to see you in KC's relationship a lost cause. Dude. Dude. And to everybody else that is not troll, and all the true fans, please come back and stay with me. Because I know that some of you have left and you were replaced by trolls or otherwise you turn troll. Okay. Please, come back. We're good people. I'm good people. True. I'm honest. And just like in Jesus, you continue to have faith in me, all rewards will be shown. <laughs> you said just like Jesus? What the fuck? On, on a daily basis, for a small update. Even if I miss one day, something will happen the next day on the Wikipedia. Oh my god. No more of that stupid email name. That was two anybody different people, else though, who mislabels me as that name again, or anybody else who calls me, who mislabels me a homosexual in person, oh, if shit. it's a guy, the Joker, he get, or he can accept the answer straight what forward, the, what if it's my a girl? heart, and just leave it at that and spread the word around further. But what if it's a girl? He's going to smack a guy. What are you going to do to a girl? Nothing? Or if it's a lady. Okay. I will give her the option of either accepting the truth okay. or allow me to kiss her strong and long on the cheek, the face cheek. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> okay, so if it's a girl, instead of hitting like it would hit the guy, he's going to kiss the girl. Now, I think that that comes from Christopher's desire. Christian's, excuse me, name change desire to kiss girls since he's a bit antisocial and, uh, and a lot of girls don't like him the problem is that you're using your kissing as a punishment chris do you realize that your kiss is a punishment to them like that's that's incredible that's really unfortunate my friend okay and video recorded so everybody get your skulls i'm the real deal he's the imposter stop this stupid game stop encouraging christian weston chandler number two True. over there the fact that he actually thinks the person's name is Christian Weston Jailer just like him is just crazy. I'll tag. Oh. 
True, you gotta get it how you can, yeah. Forget about the stupid dog tag. The only reason I'm wearing it is because it represents, like, you know, I've experienced some of the good things in life. i played Lowry a few times. He's wearing a dog tag? What? To express his trauma? What the fuck? I've traveled to Ohio, uh, but thanks to that stupid mess. And I've had a few drinks. The only check mark that's not left, that's the only thing that only mark that has not been checked yet for like, a good life, is the virgin breaker. I'm straight. We got that cleared up. Okay. Don't ever call me Ian. Don't ever call me guy. Have a safe day. Stay safe. Peace. Incredible. On August 10th. Christian made a video attempting to convince his audience that he was the real Christian Weston Chandler based on the physical similarities between himself in the present and his appearance in the videos he had posted before Liquid Chris's arrival. I'm, I'm wondering what his parents have to say about this. Why is, why is he continuing to feed into this troll? It's like, this is fucking insane. Personality types. In the longer run, who has been the cooler man who has originally done everything in the Sasha and Rose Shoot comics? As you notice in all the videos, I have been the cooler man. I have been more calm. And even my voice sounds more similar to everything in the past recordings, including my 25th birthday. That's debatable, honestly. Liquid, Li Liquid Christian is actually pretty good at imitating Chris. And look at my face. The very same face from February 24th, two years ago. And another thing. Yes, I have never learned to play a real guitar. But that doesn't mean I could not rock. So that's a good reason why I play a guitar hero. I have still been having a harder time of trying to find a boyfriend for a girl and to make it to a sweetheart from the ground up. Okay. Yeah, he was able to get a girlfriend like that. True. Big difference. The longer run, the real Christopher Christian Weston Chandler had a harder time. It's <laughs> I, li I like that. One of his defenses, I'm like, I'm the real Chris because I can't get pussy. <laughs> what a fucking defense. How do you know he's the real one? He just can't get any pussy. Good point. They're actually not a bad point. He's got a good point there. Having a bit of a hard time. And also, if you look at the eight-year-old photo, and I have recently looked back upon it, the eight-year-old video, yes, it is true. I'm no longer ashamed of it. I was born with the body type that has man boobs. <laughs> okay. Eye type. I, mean, I don't think he has, like, gyno, but okay. Might say a little bit of an A. I don't know if that's like a thing. There were man boobs. I mean, it's like a weight thing, right? Am I wrong about that? Like, what the fuck? Size it. So there. I'm still a man. My dick was on that encyclopedia mac page. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you say that's my dick on the fucking ED page. Holy shit. I mean, it's true. It is his fucking dick on there. That's true. Fucking tell he's like whoop your fucking dick out, dude. Prove that that's your fucking dick. He put his penis onto the comic. He literally put his fucking penis on a comic book page and traced around it. Shit. It was falsely brought on because the trolls posed as women who falsely gained my trust. I know it's my fault. So fucked my up. My fault that those trolls got the information, but still they documented it for the longest time wow. since about. About 2006 or 2007. Okay. So there you go. That's a few big differences between me and him. He does not have any of these things. He has nothing. All he has is just a piece of paper that I could get five hundred sheets of at Walmart for five bucks. Dude, why you got a room paper, dog? Come on. With the Battle of the Chrises. The real Christian Weston. Christian Weston. Fuck. Christian Weston Chandler wouldn't waste paper like that. Still seemingly raging on. Christian was trying his hardest to take back his life, which, despite its many flaws, regrets, and troubled past, it was rightfully his, and okay. his alone. That's true. And who else would really want it, if we're being honest? Wow. It's like fucking poetry. The way he ended that video is incredible. Holy shit. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.